As, uh, as many of you know, and we hope to remind you often, uh, the Space Foundation was founded in honor of uh, Apollo 13 astronaut Jack Swigert, also Colorado Congressman-elect. Uh, recently, we partnered with uh, District 11 schools here in Colorado Springs. District 11, shout out. Was that? <laughs> and took a failing inner city school and have transformed it into the Jack Swigert Aerospace Academy which is also the home of the Space Foundation Space Discovery Institute. So I think Jack uh, would be proud. I know uh, his sister uh, Victoria came down to the opening of that school and, and she was very proud. So we'll continue to do our best to honor his, uh, his memory. The Jack Swigert Space Exploration Award is presented annually uh, specifically in recognition of significant achievements in space exploration, pushing the frontiers, reaching out, looking for what's out there. And this year we have a spectacular winner as, as we have in the past. Um, again, I will read their names uh, and then call them up here uh, and then you can watch the video as they come up. They are Daniel Andrews from NASA Ames, Vernon Thorpe from United Launch Alliance and Dave DiCarlo from Northrop Grumman. These are the top guns of the L Cross team. mission team. Thank you all very much. Um, I must admit this is somewhat surreal for the Elcross team. Um, feel a little bit like the independent film winning, winning the uh, best picture at the uh, Academy Awards. Uh, for those of you who know Elcross, you get that joke. For those of you who don't, let me give you uh, just a few seconds on it. Elcross was a, a very unconventional mission uh, that was selected by the AA for ESMD for that very reason. Um, when the secondary opportunity uh, came along, a secondary mission opportunity came along to launch with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, uh, we had uh, less than $80 million all told, all rolled, short of the launch vehicle cost, and about 30 months to go from an idea to something ready to fly. And if we weren't ready in that amount of time, they'd fly us anyhow because we can't hold up LRO. So it was a very challenging environment. And uh, Doc Horwitz, the AA at the time, when we made the announcement, had told me the reason I picked this mission was because this mission is potentially a new way forward for parts of the portfolio for NASA, that this isn't your dad's NASA. And that really stuck with me all the way through because um, missions like Elcross are not how all missions should look, but there should definitely be a place for these in the portfolio. And the reason it was successful is because of the incredible 
uh, team, the great working relationship that we were able to form uh, with the amazing spacecraft provider, which was North of Grumman, who you'll hear from in just a moment. And then, of course, our lunar lander. Again, those of you who understand the mission uh, know what I mean by that, is uh, ULA, the upper stage of the Centaur, of course, we uh, uh, drove into the moon for our exploration purposes. So um, on behalf of the entire LCROSS team, the little engine that could, thank you very much for this honor. See, on behalf of Northrop, I'd also like to thank and congratulate the entire LCROSS team. As Dan said, a remarkable accomplishment. You normally think of space as a, as a bit of a marathon, but uh, as he described it, it was a sprint. 27 months from the start of the contract to the delivery, I think it's a really a testament to the focus and collaboration of our collective teams. So once again, uh, thank you, congratulations, mission accomplished, and we hope to hear this many more times. And I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the men and women of United Launch Alliance who came up with the most unique mission profile that many of us had ever seen, even before we flew Centaur into the moon. And I'd like to thank our NASA partners for letting us be part of such an incredible mission. Thank you.